Welcome to fourth grade with Funches and Gladney and Rafferty. We're so excited to have your kids in our class this year, and we just wanted to give you a little bit of information about what we're doing at school. Um, here's our email addresses if you need to reach us. Um, you're welcome to contact us at any time, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. You can also message us through your Canvas login. You can go to Inbox there and type us an email there. Another way you can reach us is by signing up for Remind. This year we have created two different classes in Remind. We have Team Clinton and Team Arrows. Please follow the information on the screen to sign up for Remind. I am one of your child's teachers this year. My name is Shanita Gladney, and I'm originally from Moss Point, Mississippi. I attended the best college in the state of Mississippi, Alcorn State University, and I also went to Southern Miss. Um, I received my master's from Mississippi College here in Clinton, and I've been at Eastside since 2005. Um, I have a daughter and two, ch two sons that um, are in Clinton Public School District now, and I teach them math. Um, it's our goal to make sure that they are learning everything they're supposed to learn this year according to the state, and I'm so excited to have your children this year. I'm Ms. Funches. I will teach your child ELA, that is reading and language arts. I'm originally from Crystal Springs, Mississippi. This is my sixth year of teaching, but my first year at Eastside Elementary School. I really enjoy watching students just grow a love and passion for reading. Some of my hobbies are cooking, traveling, and I really love spending time with my family. I believe that all children can learn, and it's my goal to provide a positive learning environment so that children can learn the best of their abilities each day. And I'm Miss Rafferty. I'll be teaching science and writing to your children. Um, I'm originally from Telluride, Colorado. Um, I went to Millsaps and graduated in 2014. Um, my husband also works in the district, Coach Rafferty. Some of your older children might have had him. Um, we have two daughters, Josie and Tabitha. Um, this is my fifth year at Eastside, and I'm really excited about teaching science and writing this year because it's a pilot course this year. We wrote an incredible curriculum this summer that goes deeper into the science standards um, and is really going to enhance your child's ability to write. So I'm super excited about creating relationships with all of them and seeing them here at school. This year is a little bit different at school. We're in the middle of a pandemic with COVID-19. These are some things we're doing at school to keep your children safe. We have hand sanitizing stations around the school. We are conducting temperature checks before students enter each classroom and right before lunch. We have motion sensitive water bottle fillers instead of drinking from the water fountain. We have this six feet apart socially distanced in our classroom. Students wear masks throughout the day as well as the staff members. On our team, each teacher is rotating from room to room so that each student has his or her own desk and other students are not in their desk at school. We're eating lunch in the classroom. We're practicing good hand washing techniques using soap and water multiple times throughout the day. And we also sanitize our desk throughout each day. We know that you're sending us your babies. That means so much to us. We want you to know that they're safe at school and we're doing everything in our power to keep them healthy. <clears throat> as far as behavior and discipline this year, um, at Eastside, we use a method during the first nine weeks called Oops Cards. And these are tickets that the kids get when they make a mistake or they forget that they're not supposed to be doing something or break a rule. Um, it is not anything to panic over. They get five of these Oops Cards to help them learn what the rules are and to learn how the system works. Um, after they have lost all five of their Oops Cards, they start getting marks in our behavior chart. <clears throat> that behavior chart stays at school. Um, and But if you ever would like to know what's on it, please feel free to email us. Um, once they get three marks, that equals up to one demerit. And that's your way of knowing that there has been a problem going on at school and it may be something that you need to speak with your child about. Um, each three marks equals up to another demerit. So at the second demerit, we have a parent conference and we'll ha have you come in, we'll have your child come in, and we'll all sit down and talk about some things that we can do to help the school year go a little bit better. 
Now, after the two demerits, if they get two more marks after that, they will not be able to participate in our error reward, um, which is a reward system that we have set up for the end of each nine weeks. And so if they've gotten less than eight marks and have not been referred to the office, they'll get to participate in something that's really fun. Um, if they should happen to get three demerits, then that would be an office referral. And at that point, one of the principals would call you in and they would determine what needs to be done from that point. If your child should receive a demerit, please make sure that you sign it and return it back the next day. Lunch and breakfast at school this year is also looking a little bit different. We are eating lunch and breakfast in the classroom. Um, your child can get breakfast when they get to school um, and bring it to the classroom and eat it. In order to get breakfast, if they're a car rider, they need to be here by 725. We understand that buses might get here a little bit later than that. Students will still be able to get breakfast if they get here a little bit later on the bus. They will take the bre breakfast into the classroom, eat it, and then they can throw away their trash in the room. Same with lunch. Um, they can bring their lunch or get a lunch in the cafeteria. We take our kids to the cafeteria to pick up their lunch and they bring it back to the classroom. Um, before eating, we sanitize our hands, sanitize our eating area. We make sure everybody is safe and still distanced. Um, and then as soon as they're done eating, they put their masks on. If you need to pay lunch money, you can scan the QR code at the top of the screen, and that will send you to myschoolbucks.com where you can pay your lunch money and for breakfast all year long. And unfortunately this year, because of social distancing, we can't have parents come eat with us at school. Um, I know your kids will really miss that, but that's just something that we have to do this year. This year for tutorial, we will be covering various skills throughout the year. It's a great time to work with smaller groups on skills that they may specifically be lacking, or we may need to just focus on a certain skill with your child. If they need more skills practice at home, Please check the resource pages on Canvas for different websites that they can practice. Let us know if we can help you in any way. We also have snack and water inside the classroom. Make sure your child brings a healthy snack to school every day. We have a very late lunch this year, so it's important everyone has a snack to stay focused and alert. And we'll have a snack each morning. Please try to avoid sending candy or soda for snack time. They can bring their own water bottles. We also have provided Clinton um, water bottles for each student that are washed once a week, but they remain here at school. So as far as getting graded papers home this year, um, they will be sent home in the front pocket of your child's binder. Um, we don't send home a graded papers folder. Just as they finish an assignment and it gets graded, we will give, them, give it to them. Um, it does not need to be signed. You may keep those papers at home. And remember that you have access to PowerSchool, and there you can view all of your child's grades. Um, if you don't have a login, um, just call the front office at Eastside. The number is 601-924-7261, and they will be able to give you login information for your child. And also, our grading scale is listed here on the slide for you. Your child also has a password sheet in their binder, and it has the username and passwords for all of their um, online resources that we use here at school and the ones we ask them to practice on at home as well. Your child will come home with their morning work folder every day. Um, please make sure that they bring it back to school every day. While we're still in hybrid, they will be completing some of their morning work at home. Um, your child's morning work folder has a pencil pouch in it with five numbered pencils, their sticker chart, and their oops cards. Please don't remove any of these things to leave them at home. These are things that we need at school. They're more than welcome to use the pencils, but please make sure they get back in the pencil pouch. Um, so whether you are at home or school, on Mondays, everybody is doing day one morning work. That means if you're at home on Monday, you're doing day one. If you're at school on Monday, you're doing day one. And then it keeps going. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we will be doing morning work. And then Wednesday, we will not be doing morning work. Um, so please make sure that when your child is at home, they're completing the morning work that they need. Um, and you can look at the newsletter to make sure about what they need to complete. 
So for math this year, um, your students have a math binder and we have taken time in class to put that math binder together. It should be brought um, home every day and returned back to school each day when they come. Um, they will have a packet that they get every week with a newsletter attached to the top of it. They need to have that packet at school every day. If you would like an extra copy of the newsletter, it is one on Canvas. Or if you email me, I'll be glad to send you a copy of it as well. But that packet needs to come to school every day. Um, no materials from any of their other classes should be inside the binder. We have tabs that are labeled. Um, we're really working on trying to help them become more organized this year so they will be ready to go on to fifth grade at the end of the year. Um, in class, the students are expected to pay attention and participate, ask questions. That's how I will know whether they are getting it or not. Um, at home, they can review their daily grades in Edge Elastic after the grades are released. And please make sure they're completing all their homework. It really helps them to prepare for their assessments. In ELA class with Ms. Funches, each scholar has their own ELA folder. They should bring it to class each day. They will also be bringing it home. Inside the folder, you will find our newsletter, the vocabulary list, anchor charts, and study notes. These things should remain inside of the sheet protectors inside the folder. Homework will also be placed inside the front pocket of the folder. You will also see the same homework in Canvas, but as long as they're coming to school, I'm going to print it out for you so there's nothing you have to worry about. It'll be inside of the folder. In our classroom, scholars are expected to be active participants in class, pay attention, actively take notes, doing any instructional lessons. They can, it's very good for them to ask for clarification whenever it's needed, and please always have a positive mindset. At home, your scholar will be asked to complete all homework as assigned per the newsletter. Practice skill using online resources and study notes inside of our ELA folder. And also, if you can find time, let's try to read 30 minutes each day or night. All right, in science and writing class this year, um, they also have their own folder for this class. Um, and it will go home and it will be taken back to school every day that they come. Okay. Um, there are different sections in there for your newsletter, vocabulary, and flashcards, any homework that needs to be completed on paper in the front pocket of the folder where it says done with this. Those papers can be kept at home. That means we don't need them anymore. Um, any paper that's in the classwork to keep section, please do not take that out. That means we will need it again in class. Okay, and then also in the back pocket of the folder, there is the science and writing journal. So just make sure that stays in there and it's not left at home. In class, um, please make sure to encourage your child to participate and put in their full effort. We will be doing experiments in this classroom and lots of step-by-step -step activities, but if they're not following my directions for other things, they will not be able to participate in the experiments. And that will really be a big bummer because I want everyone to get the best that they can out of this class. Um, make sure you're studying your flashcards all the time at home. When you have nothing to do, pull them out, study them for five minutes because they will be tested on them. And just complete any work that's either in the folder or on Canvas by the due date. And you can always find what needs to be done on your child's newsletter. There's a newsletter in the folder and there's also a newsletter on Canvas. So you should be able to find that information. If you're ever confused, feel free to email me. Um, just make sure that you're always checking your child's newsletter for the correct information. Um, all three of our classes have newsletters in their folder or binder and on Canvas and the modules and under daily plans. So there's lots of places you can find the newsletter. We try and make it as clearly spelled out as we can about what needs to be completed at home for each night of homework and while your child is at home learning independently. Canvas is a great resource that we are all getting familiar with right now. We're um, excited about um, your enthusiasm to get started with it. However, we ask that you please do not have your child complete any work on Canvas before you check their newsletter and, plan, uh, and planner. Some of it needs to be saved um, for in class so we can properly teach it. Some things we post for the week, and so some things may be on Canvas that we have not taught yet. So. Please, just before you try to get them to do something on Canvas, 
um, check the newsletter and make sure that it's supposed to be done. Also in their binder, they have directions for how to submit on Canvas. So they can look in there, and if you're confused about that, you can go ahead and email us. But most of them are figuring it out in class. Please make sure that your child is coming to school each day with their iPad charged. They will need it every single day, and we need it for it to be charged when they get here. You'll be able to see our different activity schedules on the following slides. Um, make sure that when you have PE, your child is wearing tennis shoes, or they will not be able to participate. Ms. Gladney's activity schedule. Ms. Funch's activity schedule. And Ms. Rafferty's activity schedule. If you want a closer look at those, you can stop the video and take a picture of it. Be sure to check out each department's video under your resources in Canvas. I hope we have a great year this year. Thank you so much for your patience as we're all figuring out this school year. It's very different for all of us, the students, the teachers, and we know for you as parents too. We appreciate all you're doing to make it run smoothly. And we just say thanks for watching. Thanks.